This is Brad Woodall, owner of Woodall Baseball Instruction and former Major League pitcher here today to talk to you a little bit about the general pitching mechanics. Today we're going to go over really the, the most common version of pitching mechanics throughout in a generic form. We don't want to get too complicated with this, but what I'm going to focus on is some of the common mistakes that young pitchers make and the, the corrections that, that a player and a coach can make to get them going in the right direction to increase velocity and consistency going to home plate. The first step is generally the, the, how you put your foot on the rubber. It's the beginning point. As we, we're taking our sign, a lot of pitchers will, will start with their feet way back on the rubber. We don't want to do that because we don't want to be reaching for our pivot point, which will come later. We want to start with our heels right here on the pitching rubber. Once we get our sign, we go into our pitching mechanics. The next step is the back step. We don't want to go too far on our back step. If we go too far, our body tends to leave the rubber, we get off balance, and it's tough for us to regain that balance throughout our pitching mechanics. So we want to take a nice short back step. It doesn't have to be straight back. It should be about three quarters of the way back or sideways even. From here, all we do, the third step in our pitching mechanics, is our pivot point. All we want to do, if we're in the right back step position, we're still nice and relaxed, nice and balanced, all we do is pick up our foot and put it right down here, adjacent and parallel to the rubber. It's very simple. We want to keep these mechanics very simple and repeatable. That's important about, about getting consistent to home plate. From our pivot position, we are in a good position, if, if, if our feet are, are like this, we're in a good position to get to our balance point, which is the most important part of our pitching mechanics. If we're not balanced, we're not going to be going in the right direction, we're not going to be able to throw hard, we're not going to be able to be consistent to home plate. So all we do in our balance position is just bring our foot up and knee up above our other foot. What we have here is a nice relaxed balance position. I'm not leaning back, I'm not leaning forward. All I'm doing is bringing my knee up above my other foot that's planted on the ground. We don't want to turn too far this way. We don't want to keep our, our knee open too much. The proper hip rotation is just with our knee above our other foot. Okay, the next step from our balance position is putting our foot down before it goes out. So it goes down before it goes out. And this is very important too in, in enabling ourselves to load our weight and keep our weight back long enough so that we can drive toward home plate and get maximum velocity. Some of the common mistakes that pitchers make is they kind of fall toward home plate. We don't want to fall toward home plate because our weight shift is happening too soon. From our balance position, we bring our foot down and our foot goes out and you see here that my weight is still loaded on my back foot. We want to transfer our weight as we throw the ball. With my weight loaded, this is called the power position. So from here, this is where my explosion happens. Everything else from here is pretty relaxed. It's, we're moving down the slope of the mound a little bit, but we're pretty relaxed here. From here, all we do is throw the ball. Just get the ball back and throw. Okay? Let me go through it one more time in, in live form in fast fashion so that you can see how it works. So we have, to, we have the setup, back step, pivot, balance, down, out, throw. Okay, one more time. Set up, back step, pivot, balance, down, out, throw. One more time. Those are the basic picture mechanics in a nutshell. Thank you and see you on the practice field.